Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x plus 2 is equal to square root of 3x plus 6 plus square root of 3x plus 1. To find the value of x from this equation. Now, from this here in the left side, we have the expression inside the square roots x, x. And from here in the right side, the expressions inside the square roots, we have 3x, 3x. Now, we'll take this expression inside the square root, the difference. Now, we have this, which is x plus 7, the difference to be bracket, then minus this expression inside the square root, bracket, x plus 2, bracket, is equal to the expression this inside the square root, which is 3x plus 6 bracket minus this expression under the square root which is 3x plus 1 bracket so when we take x minus x is 0 so it will be 7 minus 2 is 5 which is equal to this 3x minus 3x is 0 6 minus 1 is 5 now the difference between this expression inside the square root is the same 5 5 then in the next step, because here we have difference, we did the difference between the expression inside the square root, we will apply difference of square method. The, this, the rule of difference of square is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a minus b bracket. Now, because here we have square and here we have square root so when we take the square root and the square will cancel so it will be the same thing this minus this is 5 this minus this is 5 so this a square it will be this this square so this square root which is square root of x plus 7 square because this square will cancel with this square root so it will be x plus 7 now the difference here will be minus b square. It will be this, which is square root of x plus 2 square. So this square root will cancel this square. It will be this x plus 2. So when we take this minus this is 5, then it will be equal to this square root square. So it will be square root of 3x plus 6 square then here minus this square root square so it will be square root of 3x plus 1 square as this square root will cancel the square so this minus this it is 5 this minus this is same as this minus this which is 5 so this equation here which is equal to 5 is equal to 5 is same like this one now, because here we have difference of square, which is this is in this form, we will apply this form. So it will be a plus b. a plus b, it will be this square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x plus 2. So into this side, it will be square root of x plus 7, then plus square root of x plus 2, then bracket bracket a minus b it will be this square root of x plus 7 minus square root of x plus 2 so here square root of x plus 7 minus square root of x plus 2 bracket then is equal to also in this side we'll apply this form which is equal to this form so a plus b it will be this plus this so it will be this which is square root of 3x plus 6 then plus this which is square root of 3x plus 1 then bracket a minus b it will be this minus this so here here times bracket square root of 3x plus 6 then minus square root of 3x plus 1 bracket then in the next step, 
because this side is equal to this side now we have two solutions whereas the first solution is this part here inside this part is inside this bracket is equal to this inside this bracket and this is equal to this so the first solution it is this which is square root of x plus 7 then plus this square root of x plus 2 is equal to this which is square root of 3x plus 6 plus square root of 3x plus 1 so this we call this equation 1 and this this equation 1 for the first solution and for the second solution we have this is equal to this so this which is square root of x plus 7 minus square root of x plus 2 is equal to this which is square root of 3x plus 6 then minus square root of 3x plus 1 which is whereas this is the we call this a second equation now the difference between these two equations here we have positive minus here we have positive negative then we'll take from these two equations we'll take equation 1 we add by equation 2 now from equation 1 here we have this positive negative so when we take this plus this in the left side because of this positive negative this and this will cancel so it will be square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x plus 7 which is 2 square root of x plus 7 then is equal to in here also because you have positive and negative this and this will cancel so to be square root of 3x plus 6 is equal to square root of 3x plus 6 I mean square root of 3x plus 6 plus square root of 3x plus 6 it will be 2 square root of 3x plus 6 now because we have 2 in this side and in this side we divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel so our equation will be this is equal to this square root of x plus 7 is equal to square root of 3x plus 6 then because we have square root in both sides so we'll square in both sides so this square root will cancel square this square root will cancel this square so it will be this which is x plus 7 is equal to this which is 3x plus 6 then in here we we'll take this x into this side so it will be equal to 3x minus x then 6 we take to this side to be 7 minus 6 so this minus this is 2x is equal to this minus this is 1 then we divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to a half so this is the final answer for the value of x in this hour problem now to check for this value of x if it is correct let's rewrite our problem our problem is square root of x plus 7 plus square root of x plus 2 is equal to square root of 3x plus 6 plus square root of 3x plus 1 so into these positions of x we substitute the value of x which is a half therefore it will be square root of x which is a half plus 7 plus square root of x which is a half plus 2 is it equal to square root of 3 times x which is a half so it will be 3 times 3 3 times a half a half is 1 over 2 so it will be 3 over 2 then plus this 6 plus square root of 3 times x it will be 3 times a half it will be in the numerator is times 1 which is 3 in the denominator it will be over 2 then plus this 1 then in the next step it will be square root of 7 plus 
half this same as 7 over 1 so the denominator here it is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times 7 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 then plus square root of this is same as over 1 the denominator here it is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 here it will be 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 it will be 5 is it equal to in here we have square root of this is same as 1 so here the denominator it is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times 3 is 3 so it will be 3 then plus 2 divided by 1 is 2 2 times 6 is 12 12 plus that 3 it is 15 then plus square root here this is same as over 1 the denominator here it is 2 this this divided by this is 1 1 times 3 is 3 so it will be 3 we add by this divided by this is 2 2 times 1 is 2 2 plus that 3 it will be 5 now from here we can see in the left side we have square root of 15 over 2 and here in the right side square root of 15 over 2 and here in, we have this square root of 5 over 2 and here in the right side square root of 5 over 2 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for this value of x is equal to a half thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye